Long continues to be fascinating because uh, um, John Howard. Well, if, if those are people cheering the loss of the Prime Minister's seat, they may yet be cheering too soon. Nick Minchin has already warned that there's going to be a very strong postal vote factor in this seat, and uh, with with 60 percent of the vote counted and a uh, and a margin of 4.1 percent, the swing to the ABC uh, to the ABC. The swing that was going to happen at some point tonight. The swing to the ALP is five percent. Uh, Nick, your con your contention is well, that's, that swing is actually narrowing. Yeah. Um, it was 5.1, it's come it's, back to it's 5. It's moved down below 5, yeah. it's gone above 5, yep. it's, it's moving around so quite I think based on what in, I've seen in the past, postals, I think... Seats like Hindmarsh and Adelaide, where the Liberal Party have been extremely strong um, postal vote campaigns with a sitting member, have been behind 49 mm. on the night and scraped into victory. But uh, John Howard probably can win from that, but he's going to be an extremely, yeah. extremely narrow. And um, you wouldn't want a by-election. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Andy. <laughs> Something to think about. But, uh, but whatever the computer is saying, on the basis of what, uh, of what Nick is warning about with significant postal votes, you'd say that Benelong very clearly is, uh, is, out, is out there on its own for the it's, moment. It's in the undecided category. Very much in the undecided category. Ju Julia Gillard, uh, you, you, uh, you're not counting... Uh, uh, been along amongst your definite gains just yet, are you? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I think we're going to have to keep yeah. watching it. But for the Prime Minister to be in a situation where he may be hanging on postal really? votes, I think, says something in itself. Uh, and can I say on uh, Nick's analysis, I think part of the problem for the Liberal Party is that there was a contradiction at the heart of their campaign. They never knew whether they were saying, we're going for growth or there are dark clouds ahead. They were contradictory messages. And I do think the uh, sort of shambles that degenerated around the Liberal leadership transition cost them dearly as well. And I think one ongoing problem for the Liberal Party is Peter Costello is not popular with the Australian community. Uh, I think, you know, there, there's going to be a rewriting of history now about would it all have been different if Peter had been in the chair? I think it would have been worse if Peter had been in the chair. That's not just you uh, moving on to your next target, is it, Julia? <laughs> no, that's a, it's a genuine take on how people see him. Um, we might uh, now take a look. We're going to go back. And